I went to NYU, and I think the most important class that I ever had in college was, it was called Belief and Skepticism. And I think one of the first days that we were there, we had to split up into believers and skeptics. And of course, all the cool kids wanted, were, were on the skeptic side. So they all went over there. And then I was, I decided, I was like, well, you know, I think I, there is some truth out there, so I'll be on the believer side. And we were supposed to have a debate. And I posed the first, the first question that I posed, or the, the first statement I said was, rape is wrong. And, and this was back in college where I don't think you could have that, that conversation. And the other side, the skeptics, had to challenge that and were trying, you know, to refute that. And, um, you know, being able to have that very harsh, um, you know, and, uh, harsh, um, a discussion about something so awful, um, but trying to, you know, to, to rationalize it and, and come up with the best arguments possible was super helpful for not, mm. not only uh, in that class, but, you know, what ended up taking me, you know, throughout, you know, my academics and all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm part of this great club at Columbia called Colloquia, and we do that every Friday. We split the room in half arbitrarily and just argue some proposition, and then halfway through we switch sides. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the only club like that at Columbia, and um, we're, we just started, and we're trying to, you know, broaden our platform. And uh, but yeah, no, it, they're really it's cr it's crazy how much of the academic culture is the opposite of that. So when I go to the colloquia every Friday and do these meetings, it's like so refreshing because I don't get to do this in conversation with people. I don't get to do this in class for the most part. So it's, it, it sticks out by contrast with the formal curriculum. That's great. It just like separates morality away from just intellectually sparring about a thing. Yeah, because there is, you know, there is the, um, you know, this idea that um, to understand the reasons, for, you know, the arguments for terrible ideas doesn't mean that you actually have those ideas. It means that you have the tools to actually process what those ideas are, and then you're able to, to I guess, you know, defeat them in, in some way. Yeah, there's a lot of really smart people with terrible conclusions, <laughs> and like, you can still learn a lot and improve your ability to like fight against those conclusions by arguing that type of stuff. Yeah. And obviously, people avoid it all the time now. I grew up like just arguing in my family, and I feel like it just made it so that I can. Uh, just question stuff easier, and I know, there's something so valuable to it, and, and now people avoid that kind of like energy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you really like the video, you can even support We The Internet TV on Patreon. Check out the link in the description below.